If you swap two electrons, you get a minus sign. Did you know that numbers can do that too? It's called a superalgebra, and it's not just the quadratic equation in a cape. The idea is much broader, but in the physics community, superalgebras are instrumental in describing transformations between force-carrying particles, called bosons, and matter particles, called fermions. The original idea behind supersymmetry is that each boson has a fermion partner, and each fermion has a boson partner. And the way these particles are related is by a supersymmetry generator. So the question then is, what's a supersymmetry generator? Obviously, there's a lot to unpack here, but at its core, a generator is merely a mathematical object called an element of an operator algebra that does a certain thing when applied to a quantum state, like a particle. If we want the operator to convert fermions to bosons and vice versa while also respecting the properties of those particles, there are certain relations that must hold when you combine these generators. Those relations are what make those operators part of a superalgebra rather than an ordinary algebra. See, an algebra is basically a possibly infinite list of objects and four operations on them. They can be added, subtracted, multiplied by a number, and multiplied by each other. A superalgebra is basically a splitting of that list into objects of three groupings, even or bosonic objects, odd or fermionic objects, and then the sums of the two. The trick then is that an even object times an odd object is odd, an even object times an even is even, and an odd times an odd is also even. And this is sort of what we expect the quantum operators to do that convert bosons to fermions and vice versa. In particular, the version of the superalgebra often used in physics is called a Lie superalgebra, where the multiplication gets an extra minus sign if you swap the order of the multiplication of two odd objects, just like electrons do. Of course, there's so much more to cover, but now you've had a taste of superalgebras.